Back in April, a good customer of ours asked us to build a 128 Milwaukee 8 in his FXDR, something that to our knowledge had not yet been done. The build turned out great and was seen by another customer of ours who wanted the same thing done to his FXDR, only he wanted to hit at least 200 horsepower. That was about 60 away from the best numbers we could safely do on the first build. The idea was tossed around for a while until a tech from Black Widow said he was confident he could get those numbers via turbocharger and the customer gave us the green light. This would possibly be the first turbocharged FXDR in the country and getting it right didn't come easily. Not only did the parts take months to fabricate and eventually arrive, they didn't fit the bike correctly so they were sent back leaving us and the very patient customer to wait a few more months to get the bike built. And at the moment of truth, the promised 200 horsepower was met with a mere 183. The shop threw around a bunch of ideas, including sending me out for 110 octane race fuel to see if we could achieve those numbers, which we never used before you people start commenting. And after calling the turbocharger's manufacturer, they told us that if we changed the spark plugs, we would see an instant 20 horsepower jump. Skeptical, that's exactly what we did, and without breaking the motor in, or adjusting the tune, it was almost exactly 20 horsepower more just from changing the spark plugs. Gas is coming from the front cylinder and the rear cylinder are gonna spin this turbine, which is gonna create a vacuum. So we're actually using this to pull air in. These, this turbine here, they say, can spin up to 280,000 revolutions per minute, which is, which is pretty damn fast. So basically, we're just creating a super, super, super duper Hoover Doover vacuum is what we're doing to help draw outside air in. Why are there uh, inconsistencies like uh, 201 to 198? Why does it bounce? Well, the engine likes fresh, cold, oxygenated air. So as the motor heats up, the room heats up, um, your power numbers may go down. Not to mention all that, you saw all those expended wasted gases flying around. Sometimes, you know, the bike will pick that them gases up and it's just, you know, it's just the nature of the beast. This horsepower is still, is still climbing. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It's not even showing signs of dropping off. But right now the rev limit is set at 62. That's where the engine's cutting off. So if we set it at like 65, it, it, it looks like it may be projected to do like easily 215 to 220 just, just by changing the rev limiter. Wow. Um, 